Hello, hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benny Dombayana where we show you a lot of interesting and useful stuff about Benny Dome and surrounding area. Today we came back to the lovely Tapas Alley because there are still a lot of places that we did not explore and need to check so that you would know which Tapas places are good and which ones are not worth trying them. Today we have three places that we will be discovering. One of them is right there behind us which is La Cava Aragonesa. So my hubby has asked for two tapas. This is first one. This is salmon with some kind of a potato mash salad and the chicken pincho with teriyaki sauce. We are heading inside to see which kind of other tapas do they have in here and how the interior is actually looking like. Um, if you know, La Cava Aragonesa is probably one of the most famous places in here in Benidorm in the Tapas Alley. It's everywhere online and people just talk about it a lot. So this is the first time I'll show it to you here on the channel and we'll just see if it's actually worth its name. Here you have some pambao, kebab type of tapas you also have jamón serrano typical ham uh, ensaladilla rusa but potatoes bravas like a lot a lot of different things in here and they actually look quite good so we'll see if they taste the same way So we're sitting down on one of the mini like bar type tables here on the outside because inside there's a lot of people you've seen it already and I'll just try the chicken right now because we've taken the um, salmon with like some salad like some salad with salmon on top and then this teriyaki chicken it's just I don't know I personally it's unservable I don't know no, it's not bueno. It's, oh, it's disgusting. I think that's the first time I ever say it. Even my husband says it's horrible. And for one Aquarius, one, no. No. One Aquarius, one Coca-Cola, uh, the pincho of like a chicken one and a salmon one, 10 euros 90 we just paid. I don't know, they have some nice stuff inside, but I was just shocked, like that's the quality of this place. It's so, so famous, but the quality of this place just went down so much. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's not a good place anymore. I don't know. I don't like it at all right now. So it's a true shame. There's a lot of people here. It's really famous, but even my husband, which is Spanish and he knows like, and he understands Spanish food, but he says it's awful and the bread is really, really dry. It's not fresh. so. I'm super surprised with the quality that they have right now in here. And yeah, 1090 for just two not good tapas and two drinks. We'll head to search for another place that hopefully will have better quality. Let's go. There is the beach right there. Lovely Levante Beach. There are quite some waves here today, by the way, and some wind. But still, there's quite a lot of people exploring. The Spazzo cafeteria, quite empty right now. Well, they're just preparing right now. A lot of them are opening up right now for evening, for winter meals. This is from Maui, from Magic Costa Blanca, by the way, they're open already too. Here it's not sunny anymore. Here is the shade at the end of the Levante Beach. But all the beginning of the Levante Beach that you have right there in front is still really, really sunny. And the, most, the vast majority of the people are right there because it's still nice and warm on the sunshine. Right here near the here right here near the Burger King is it really here aquí ah okay okay so right near the Burger King we have different different areas like different 
restaurants and typical Spanish places. Like the ones that have been here for decades and decades, you know. Typical Spanish croquetas, for example, which specializes on Spanish croquetas. One unit, one euro 20, three units, 350. With every bottle of wine, cava or cider, we include six units. Bean chos included, like there's a lot of things. And then like tiny places like this. Ooh, look at that, that's nice. All the places and taverns like this, these are the two authentical ones. So this is where you need to go if you want to try Spanish cuisine. Not a lot of, this one, is there? Not a lot of tourists come here, but it's definitely worth it. This one is La Caleta. Let's try that one. So this is the inside part. This is true, authentic Spanish place like decades ago. Nothing has changed and a lot of people are coming back here because they value the true essence of it. You have some prices on here. There's ham, salchichon, chorizo, patatas bravas, payos, fried fish, like a lot, a lot of different things in here. And the prices are quite good. And then there is the outside terrace as well. This one right here will be sitting down somewhere here on the corner. And these are the authentic Spanish tapas. They have some huge plates like this with seafood and fried fish and calamars. For a two people, four people, six people, you know, there's like huge ones. And these ones, they're coming from Port Benidorm. Fresh as they might be. And they say with every consumption, with every drink, they get you a huge like piece of ham. So let's try this. These are the tapas that we have asked. By the way, here tapas are as a gift. So I've asked like Radler. This is a mini beer with a Fanta lemon mixed one. And my hubby took Fanta de Naranja, which is like orange Fanta. And they give you free well, free, you're paying for it, but I mean, they don't charge it extra. This is pescadito frito, no? This is fried mini fish like this. They are deeply fried, come with a piece of lemon. And this is another tapa that comes with bread. This is, esto que es chorizo. This is chorizo and um, Spanish typical ham. And with every drink that you take in here, they give you a different tapa. Quanto era? And we paid three euros forty cents for two tapas. Well, they're included with a drink, but like two tapas and a drink. Como se come eso? I don't know how to eat these. We've never, I've never ate these things, you know. So um, this is something unusual that I'll be trying here on the channel. But yeah, entero. My hubby says you need to con ojos y todo. I have to eat it like with eyes and head, like with everything. I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna. Eat. No quiero. I'm afraid to eat the head. Mm. But it's good. I'm not gonna eat the head though. I'm really, really afraid, but I'm gonna eat the rest of it. Okay. Whole one. Mm. It's just, it's just like fish and chips, you know, like the fish. Deeply fried fish, and they're like with lemon juice on top. Typical Spanish, whatever you can see it. And the beer is nice. This is like Radler, you know, like lemon with beer. Nice mix. All people here, they are here on the terrace right now. Obviously, I'm not gonna film like a lot of them. I'm just gonna show you quickly. Like all the people that are here on the tables, they are all Spanish. There are no single tourists in here because people just don't know this place you know so um, it's really really nice I'm gonna show you they have like all the information there and really nice place let's try the ham no no voy a probar esto I'm gonna try this one mm. it's good I mean 
It's not a luxury place, obviously. It's not something that's brand new, you know, that has all this atmosphere in here. It's a typical traditional Spanish place, so it's cheap. Not expensive at all. The food is authentic Spanish food. And if it's what you're looking for, try how it actually is, you know, not like some invented stuff, but typical Spanish 100%. This is the place that you might consider on coming and you get a free tapa with every drink. I mean, what can be better than that? And this is the chorizo, the typical Spanish chorizo. We'll try this one as well. I'm not a fan of chorizo, to be honest, but we'll try that out. It's good. Pica. It's spicy. I did not expect that. ¿Qué lleva? Pimentón picante. This is, uh, my hubby says that this is uh, like spicy paprika. So basically it's meat, uh, it's fat, obviously. And then it's spicy paprika, salt, pepper, you know, all this. It's quite spicy, but it's actually really, really good. Mm. He's laughing at me. Because I don't know how to eat a bread with a chorizo on camera. But you get the point. It's good. The best thing is that it's actually good. And you have all different tapas. Like all the ones that we've seen on the menu right there. All those. Each time you have a new drink in here, they give you a different type of tapa. So 340, two tapas of a good size, and two drinks. Now we'll be heading to the next one that is right here next door. So from here, we are heading to the next place, which is this one. It has a huge terrace. There's a lot of people here and all of them, the majority, vast majority are Spanish. So yeah, quite a lot of movement in here. They have some toasts of ham, like a lot of different things. Vale. And inside they have some tapas and different pinchos that we'll be checking on right now in the next moment. So here is what it actually says is that you can take the short beer, like the one that we've had, or wine, and you get a free tapa as well. There is a bar service, which means that you need to be waiting, and there's quite a queue right now in here. So as you can see, it's extremely popular between Spanish tourists here in the area, and Spanish do know how to eat well their typical dishes, so it does say something about it, doesn't it? Apart from that, you can get the entire meals right here, entire plates, not only small tapas. we have asked extra tapas two of them were included with a drink and then we've taken four more if i'm counting it right so here we have vale esto que es calamares these are shrimp and these are calamars calamares esto no shrimp and fried calamars this is croqueta with spanish pimiento which is basically green pe pepper. This is cheese with some marmalade and caramelized onions on the toast. My hubby took for him caracoles, which as you can see is snails. These are basically snails. And then here, esto que es? Carne. Potatoes with... Que carne? This is pork with some potatoes, snails. This is pincho with bacon and cheese. 
and obviously the three other ones. And we've taken also, once again, beer with lemon juice and Coca-Cola Zero. We've paid because it's paid one, it's not a collaboration. I always say when it's collaboration, so when I don't say anything, it's because it's not. This one here, we have one beer including one tapa, one Coca-Cola including one tapa, and four extra tapas, which is one euro 30 each one, which is just great. Nine euro 60, all of this. And Cava Aragonesa was just two tapas, two drinks, 10 euros 90, and not the best quality either which is why this place is full. And the other one, uh, not so much anymore. Let's try the, oh my God, it's just melting. Look at this. I can barely take it with the fork. I just lost one potato, Never mind that. I'm not a food YouTuber, so it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna take this and we'll try this out. Let's try the meat. It's slightly salty. These type of foods here, they tend to have quite a lot of salt. I'm not a fan of too much salt, but when I don't use it, I actually notice when it's really salty. But the meat is melting, so it's delicious. Just a little bit less of salt would be perfect. But it's a nice tapa. For one euro 30, what else can you ask for? And now, let's try the snails. My hubby will try the snail. Oh my god. Is it, is it good? Está bueno? We will try one as well. I've never tried snails like this before. My hubby is giving me the snail. I've never tried one. I don't like eating them. I don't know why, but don't ask me, but I'll try it. very strange oh, well, huh? the sauce is good it's slightly spicy it's like peppers and um, onion it's really spicy the sauce is good and snails taste like it's somehow like calamar type of um, texture you know but I would not be ordering just for me specifically snails I would not be ordering because it's too strange for me to eat those my hubby is an absolute fan and by the way he's eating the last snail oh it's for me okay Está bueno, pero... it's good but I, in my head, I'm eating a snail, okay, just so that you would know how my brain works. In my head, I cannot keep thinking that it's a snail. So for me, it's odd, it's strange, and it messes up my flavors, you know, so I don't really want to eat it. It's like, it's not gross, but I just, it feels very strange. It's not bad, but it feels strange. So I'm not a fan of these type of things, to be honest with you. By the way, you can hear on the back noise that it's really, really busy in here. Almost all the tables, they are occupied and inside as well. So there's a lot of caution brush. There's no social distancing anymore. So people are just literally everywhere non-stop and more and more are arriving to the place since right now it's when Spanish slowly are gathering for dinner. My hubby took half of this croqueta and uh, pepper. The other half is for me and the same will be happening with these two other ones. Let's try the Spanish croqueta first. It's cold already while we were eating. So, croqueta, to be honest with you, not a fan. I've eaten way better ones in here. 
here, but once again, for 1 euro 30, traditional Spanish croquette, if you eat it immediately, it's gonna be warm still, so it's okay. Right now it's cold, but it's still a croqueta with pieces of jamón inside, by the way. Let's try this pepper. Fried pepper, typical as well. They put in a lot of different meals uh, as a garnish, as a side dish to meat as well, especially grilled meat. So it's super common. Typical grilled fried pepper. No salt, no nothing on top of it, just pepper and bread. But this one is good, it's not bad. Let's try the other two shrimps, calamars, and the cheese with marmalade. Now it's time for the cheese and marmalade. This is, I need a minute. Okay, it's good. It's good. It's very nice. It's salty and flavor, like salt sweet. It's very, very good, but it stays on your teeth. It stays everywhere. It's like a paste, you know? This is how it che this cheese is actually normally, you know, but to film and eat that is quite difficult. But it's really good. The onions, the touch of onions, the strawberry jam, I think it is, and the cheese. It's, it's actually good. I've never tried this because I'm not a fan of cheeses uh, like that. I'm more traditional. I don't go from Gouda or Mascarpone anywhere else or mozzarella. But this one is actually nice. By the way, my hubby says that was Camembert cheese. So one more to my list of cheeses that I would normally buy and try if we do some cheese meals at home or just like a plate with different cheese varieties. And now the last one is the tapa with shrimp and calabars. We'll try the shrimp first. It's a shrimp in a dough basically. I'm not too sure. Um, the dough is a little bit salty. I'm not sure what kind of dough it is, but it's yellow inside. Shrimp is good. I mean, it's a, it's a good batter overall. It's a good, it's crispy. It's nice, the shrimp is fresh. This is what I'm always afraid when we're going to places like this, if the seafood is gonna be fresh enough or not, because my stomach is quite sensitive for these type of things. But this one is really, really fresh. And they have so many people coming here that all the products, they just fly by and um, they just don't have time to sit a lot of time on the fridge or outside the fridge. Let's try the calamar. These are the rings like this. This is the same dough, I think. Okay. Pero están congelados o los hacen? ¿Tú lo notas? See? My hubby says, I've asked him if these are frozen or if these are fresh, well, like, not fresh, fresh, but you know, if they are frozen, like, deeply in the bags that they just buy and do, or if they make the dough themselves, you know, as other things that they do here, and they put a calamar in and then they fry it. So he says that these ones are frozen ones. So that's less points for them, but I mean, for one euro 30, once again, what could you expect? So this was our video for today. We went to La Cava Aragonesa, one of the most famous places on the Tapas Alley. We've spent 10 euros and something. However, we just got two tapas, two drinks, and the tapas were not good at all. If, it, if I need to say something, they were not good at all. The treat of the staff was not good because they are really busy, they are really stressed, and this just reduces to this just shows us um, the clients, how they look like, you know, they're really stressed and the attitude was not the best either. Um, then we went to the place that's behind us, 
which was very nice. They were really, really kind. They even asked me for my YouTube channel, but obviously we paid for everything today. That place was three euros forty. We got two drinks, including two tapas. So basically, it's like one euro seventy each thing. Tapas were delicious. We had fried fish. Uh, mini fish and we had traditional Spanish chorizo, piece of bread and Spanish jamón serrano. And the last one is this one which is called La Tapita. Right here we have a lot more variety. The place is huge. They have some ham hanging right there on the wall and with every drink you get to choose the tapa that you want to take and apart you can get some extra meals. It's really, really busy still in here. There's a lot of people and a lot of people are hitting inside. Here we've asked for two drinks and we bought two free tapas, which would cost us four euros 40 cents. Plus we've got four extra tapas for five euros 20, one euro 30 each tapa, which were really, really good and diverse. There were even snails in here for one euro 30, which is crazy but it's great, which is why this place is so, so busy. Overall, definitely recommend you to visit this area towards the left, right near the Burger King at the Levante Beach, because these hidden treasures, they are typical Spanish, allow you to try the authentic Spanish cuisine and get into the Spanish spirit, 100%. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I wish you a lovely, lovely day, and I'll see you tomorrow with the latest news update. Bye, everyone.